I'm Solveig Bergen, a German newborn and baby photographer. I traveled all over Japan to photograph the smiley and happy faces of children. This time I visited Fukushima, which was the site of a massive earthquake in 2011. Six years have passed since then. I was told that Fukushima has been recovering and is now even more fascinating and attractive than before. When I heard that there are foreign teachers living there who can show me around, I decided to go and see through my own eyes what Fukushima is like today. First, we visited Lisa Nagata. She lives in Iwaki City, which is near the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. She's an English teacher working for the development of Iwaki as an international exchange advisor and educator. Thank you so much for making time to meet with me today, Lisa. It's my pleasure. It looks like Iwaki has made quite a recovery. Yes, right. Oh, this Shiramizu Amidaro temple is so beautiful. It is a national historical treasure. During the post-earthquake recovery work, a boat where residents attached their wishes was used as part of the roof. This site is cleansing for the soul and has a very calming effect on me. It's also popular with photographers who come in all seasons. I was introduced to Lisa's students, who are her pride and joy. They showed me around the Wonder Farm. There are barbecue spots and a buffet restaurant using fresh Fukushima products that have passed a strict quality control. There is also a farmer's market where you can pick your own fruits and vegetables. They are all my students. Oh, wow, well, hello everyone. Barbecue? Yes, all this looks barbecue. Yeah? Mm, okay. Mmm, very sweet. Oh. Sweet, very nice. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Yummy. Everybody is so happy and energetic. Lisa, you must have felt terrible when the earthquake happened. Yes, my family and friends in Tonga, they urged me to escape immediately. But it was impossible for me to leave the people behind who had helped and supported me so much during my nearly 40 years in Japan. Oh, okay. And for a month, I took care of the elderly people in my neighborhoods who were alone and delivered water to their evacuation. And shelters. Oh, okay. And so I have no time to feel scared. Lisa, what kind of person do you want your students to be when they grow up? Oh, I want them to use the experience of the earthquake and become adults who will work to help and support others. And not only the people around them, but also the local community. And this will lead to great opportunities. Next, I visited William McMichael. He's an assistant professor at Fukushima University and works as an international program coordinator at the Center for International Exchange. He's actively teaching the world about Fukushima. William, I heard you're going to tell us a little about the current state of recovery in Fukushima today. Sure. Thank you for this great opportunity. Six years have passed, and for the majority of Fukushima Prefecture, life has returned to normal. In fact, people living here are eager to use this post-disaster recovery as an opportunity to make Fukushima even more attractive than before. That being said, when you do an internet search for the word Fukushima, you see many frightening images. But most of these images have nothing to do with Fukushima and are completely false. I want to clear up misunderstandings like these and this is what prompted me to host study tours. The participants become storytellers 
and share the truth about Fukushima to the world. The study tours hosted by William include visits in the difficult to return zones, volunteering in areas that were hit hard by the earthquake, and group work. By the time the tours finish, everyone returns home with a love for Fukushima. How about I take you to a place that symbolizes the recovery of Fukushima? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, let's go. Let's go. William took me to Tsuchiyu Hot Spring, which has a history of over 1400 years. It is said to be the birthplace of the three major Kokeshi dolls in the Tohoku region. In this traditional hot spring resort town, development is proceeding on next generation renewable energy. Tsuchiyu Hot Springs was also hit hard by a loss of visitors due to the disasters, but the recovery provided an opportunity for the entire town to come together. And the young inn masters here were central in starting a new town revival PR campaign. And also, the heat from the uh, hot springs is now being used for binary geothermal energy production, providing clean energy to the entire town. Wow. And so Tsuchiyu is actually attracting attention as an environmentally friendly town, and bringing liveliness back to this whole region. So in this way, the already existing tourist resources are being utilized effectively as the whole town bands together to take on new challenges to bring greater vitality to the region. Tsuchi really is a symbol of Fukushima's recovery for me. Wow, that's very interesting. On William's recommendation, I visited an old Japanese-style bar restaurant called Tasuichi in Fukushima City. The owner was a volunteer who visited Fukushima, fell in love with the area and opened a restaurant here. Fukushima is called the Kingdom of Sake. Together with William, who loves Japanese sake, I enjoyed Fukushima cuisine and locally brewed sake. I visited Zoe Vincent, who was introduced to me by William. She works at the Fukushima Prefecture Tourism Association. In her blog, she writes about what she sees and experiences, Fukushima's rich natural beauty and history, events, and her impressions of Fukushima as it is today. Zoe, I heard you're taking me to a really interesting place today. Yeah, I'm so excited to take you there. Okay, but first, let's do a little shopping. What souvenir should I buy from Fukushima? Fukushima is a country where there are so many kinds of juice in the world. Oh, wow. We visited Ochijuku, the most popular tourist spot in the prefecture. So this is Ochijuku. Wow, it feels like we've gone back in time. What era is this? So Ochijuku was used as a post town in the Edo era, and it's been okay. preserved to this very day. In fact, it's been designated as an important preservation district for groups of traditional buildings by the Japanese government. Wow. If you come to Ochijuku, you have to eat negisoba. Oh, wow. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. So for negisoba, we use negi, the Japanese word for leek, to eat instead of chopsticks. Oh. So okay. you can use this to eat, and you can eat it. You can bite into it, too. Mm. 
so crunchy. What a unique flavor. What an interesting way to eat Japanese soba. So Zoe, I hear you're working very hard to share information on Fukushima. Why is that? So outside of Japan, the image of Fukushima has become linked with the nuclear accident that followed 311. Many people think that produce from Fukushima is dangerous. So I want to inform the world of the reality of Fukushima, its beauty, its traditions, and its safety. At the end of the trip, I visited Koshkinuma. Everything about Fukushima was just fantastic. I also visited these fun places. Abukuma Cave. This limestone cave is said to be the best of its kind in Asia and was formed over about 80 million years. Handmade Crafts Bansho. This shop provides a hands-on experience of drawing on an Akabeko doll, which symbolizes the Fukushima reconstruction and spirit of mutual support. Every day, Fukushima is working really hard to overcome the aftermath of the disaster. There is a saying, seeing is believing, and this is especially true for Fukushima. I hope that everyone will come and visit and see for themselves the differences between their preconceptions and the reality of this beautiful prefecture. I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs>